There are some end game systems in this game, if we include all content that comes with the DLCs as well. Also, there are some ways to increase the potential of your character besides those end game systems. So, let's check them out one by one. 1. Side Quests Running side quests in this game can be invaluable to your character because some of those will provide permanent buffs to the resistances or even more attributed skill points. Even if you don't like playing side content, you should play those quests to gain the rewards. Here are the side quests you should complete in all three difficulty levels. Act 1 The Lfi Area, a proper offering which provides resistances. Act 1 The Lfi Area, the good center quest, provides two attribute points. Act 2 Lower Nile Area, the beast of legend, it provides two skill points. Act 3 Silk Road Area, a gargantuan yeti quest, provides bonus to all pets plus 100% health. Act 3 Sangan Area, the Emperor's Clay Soldier's Quest, it provides two attribute points. Act 4 Ixian Woods Area, Labidos Potion, it provides flat buffs to strength and health attributes. Act 4 Styx Area, the Stygian Lurker, it provides points to strength, edges and dexterity attributes. Act 4 Planes of Judgment Area, the Dust of a Titan, it provides two skill points. Act 4 Palace of Hades Area, the Shards of Erebus, it only provides a single charm of Erebus which you can use on a helmet. The great thing about this one is that the completion bonus can be plus to all skills or multiple resistances, so it can support your builds in this way, you should go for it. Act 4 Palace of Hades Hades General's Quest It provides a permanent buff to your total damage. Act 5 Ragnarok Wildlands Area The Trapped Nixie It provides one skill point. Act 5 Ragnarok Dark Lands Area Dvergar History Quest It provides two skill points. Act 5 Ragnarok Dark Lands Area Legendary Craftsmanship it provides an upgrade to an item of your choosing. Act 6 Eternal Embers Ping Yang Area Emperor Yao's Bell Quest It provides two skill points. Act 6 Eternal Embers Lower Egypt Area Shadow Stone of Anubis Quest It provides a buff to your vitality resistance. 2. Remember that if you start an accomplished or legendary hero, you won't be able to get all rewards from all three difficulty levels. So to reach the maximum potential, you will need to start at level 1 in a normal difficulty and play until the end game of legendary difficulty. 3. Another way to be the best that you can be is to try to upgrade all epic or legendary items of your character and hope to get good affixes on them that will improve your setup even more. For example, if you lack on elemental resistance and you upgrade an item and you get elemental resistance as an affix, then now your resistances have been improved. This is a very tedious and time consuming process, but it is something you can do if you want to min max your build. 4. One more way is to play all late game dungeons in all three difficulty levels. The first time you complete an late game dungeon, your character will receive a permanent reward randomly from a pool of potential rewards. Each dungeon provides different rewards and you can get a reward even if you play the dungeon in the, in the next difficulty level. For example, in a normal difficulty, you can play only the Act 1 dungeon. When you complete it, you will get a reward. If you complete it a second time, you will not get another reward. But if you complete it for the first time in epic difficulty, then you will get one more reward and the same will happen the first time you complete it in legendary difficulty. 
So, overall you can get 6 permanent rewards from these dungeons. 1 dungeon from normal, 2 dungeons from epic and 3 from legendary difficulty. Here are all potential rewards of the dungeons. Also, remember to join the official Titan Quest uh, Discord server because we have many more guides there and people that can help you with the game. 5. Finally, there is one more reason to play the endgame dungeons. Only in those dungeons or from the Electromorphs you can get some consumable items that allow you to reset your attribute points so that now you can invest them in a better way than before without having to start a new character if you feel like you have made a mistake in late game. These potions are rare to drop so lots of farming is required, but they can drop anyway. If you want to know more about the three endgame dungeons, click the link in the description for a video guide. That's it! If you found this guide to be of any help to you, remember to subscribe for more epic coded. Support your coded creators so that they can bring you more coded. Have a good day!